Hi, I'm Nina, Yanina Ramirez, and this is my first children's book, The Riddle of the Runes. I'm going to take you into the world of Alba, Fenrir, and the landscape of Kilsgard. I have wanted to write children's books as long as I can remember. It's been 20 years that I've been studying all things Anglo-Saxon and Viking and early medieval. And when it came to thinking about what would be the best thing to write about, you write about what you're passionate about, what you know about. And when I close my eyes, I see the early medieval world. <laughs> so creating a fictional landscape for children that was based on in that world was the only thing I could do. It was the thing I most wanted to do. The Riddle of the Runes is Scandi Noir murder mystery for kids. It's about a shield maiden, a young girl called Alva. Then there's this mystery that begins with the uh, disappearance of an Anglo-Saxon on the mountain in Kilsgard. He disappears, vanishes into thin air, but it transpires that he's looking for something, something very important, something very precious, a casket that's covered in runes. And it falls to Alva and her uncle Magnus to try and work out the mystery that this runic casket carries, which will eventually lead them to great treasure. The sort of audience I want this book to reach, boys and girls, I want them all to feel empowered that you don't have to be restricted by, by society or by who you think you are. You can be brave, you can be bold. Alva doesn't expect to find herself in the scenario she finds herself in, but under that pressure, she flourishes. She's just so inspiring, and that's what I want people to take away from this book. The book is illustrated by the incredible David Wyatt, and he has worked with the best. He's worked with Philip Pullman, he's illustrated the Tolkien books. He can see Kilsgaard like I can. He can see the landscape, he can see the, the characters. Their faces are so full of, of character. I never could have imagined that they would be quite as good as they are. I think the thing I would like readers to take away is a sense that this Viking landscape, this Viking world is real. You can walk through it, you can smell the food, you can taste the mead, you can see the snowy landscape of Kilsgaard. I want all of that to feel three-dimensional and accessible. I want the past to, to be exciting and not something that we hold at a distance, but something we can really step into and feel our way into. I'm delighted to say that book one is the first in the series. Uh, there's going to be four books. Books two, three and four all chart her travels. She's going to be going into some really exotic climbs, meeting some fascinating new characters from history and along the way solving a load more mysteries. 